The Animal Art Fair is an art fair that brings 40 of the greatest contemporary animal artists uh, together under one roof. We've got a huge array of styles this year, from very contemporary recycled sculptures uh, through African scenes to sporting watercolours. The Animal Art Fair is a unique event. You're not going to get as many animal artists, artworks, art pieces, sculptures, paintings of animals all under one roof anywhere else. We're very excited about our new venue this year. London South Bank is the cultural centre of London. We're bang in between uh, the Tate Modern and the National Theatre. 60,000 people walk past our venue every week and uh, we expect a lot of them to come through our doors. I'm feeling very excited about this year's show. It just looks phenomenal this evening. Um, the Animal Art Fair team have put so much effort into making it look as dazzling as it does. If you actually look in here and see the quality of the work and the standard of like the art that's here, is just it competes with any gallery, I think, in London, definitely. <laughs> The main point of the Animal Art Fair is it's a direct marketplace between the artist and the punter. There's no middlemen, there's no galleries, there's no premiums. It's just really a chance to meet the artist, discuss their vision, discuss their style and hopefully discuss their price. It's a lot more hands-on. There isn't this in-between gallery type feel where our work starts to feel like it's either above you or below you in some way. This is my second year at the Animal Art Fair and I've found the vibe here to be very, very good. It's very uplifting, it's very um, inspiring as well for an artist to come here and to meet other artists. And what that starts to do is it starts to create a network for you to see how other artists are making their living from selling their work. And at the same time, you start to meet your buying public, so you start to get the feedback you really need. It's nice because the, the size isn't too overwhelming and yet it's, uh, you just get to be able to get up so close to all the paintings and meet all the artists, it's, uh, it's great. Really, really nice to be here with the children and because I've got two others showing, talking to them all about the way different things have been painted, um, being able and allowed to, to stroke the sculptures. This is the first year I've come and there's a real breadth of art from young to old and from prints to oils and we're really glad to have found some things we want. A lot of shows you can only buy fine art, so it's really nice here, you can buy prints and things, it makes it much more accessible to people. I think people get quite scared of art a lot of the time because they don't understand it. And they're like, oh, should I like that? Should I not like it? What does it mean? Uh, whereas this, you, all this art here, it's just good, nice art that people can enjoy and hopefully it speaks to everyone. <laughs> One of the lovely things is we see the same artists often year after year. Uh, it creates a wonderful atmosphere here and uh, great camaraderie between the artists. This is the third time I've been here at the Animal Art Fair and uh, at each of the previous two Animal Art Fairs it's been great for me. Uh, lots of interest, lots of sales, lots of spin-offs, so um, I wanted to do it again. Well, this year has been a great success. It's been tough uh, economic times, as we all know, but there's been plenty of sales, um, a great atmosphere, and uh, I expect this to continue onwards and upwards for the next few years.